friends. Um, okay, so maybe you just watched a lesson from, from me and now you're here for our story or maybe you saved the story for later on in the week or who knows, but I'm happy you're here for it. Um, so the book I'm going to read today is called The Gruffalo and it's one of the favorite ones of Sloane and I. And then also um, we'll do our little finger play about the bees again and I hope you've had fun um, making your bees. Oh, my bees are upside down. <laughs> I was even thinking um, you could cut them out and glue them onto um, the paper and make them finger puppets um, or onto a popsicle stick and do the hive game that way, so that's an idea. But let's start with our story. The Gruffalo. <clears throat> a mouse took a stroll through the deep dark woods. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. <laughs> it's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth and his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he said. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep, dark woods. An owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. <laughs> it's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no. I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo. Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by the stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream! Too hoot too hoo! Goodbye, little mouse, and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. <laughs> On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, he has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by the lake, and his favorite food is a scrambled snake. Scrambled snake, this time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth and terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, oh, help, it's a gruffalo. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good with a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's 
Snake said the mouse. Why, Snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, crumbs, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye, little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy's beginning to rumble. My favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep, dark woods. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. The end. So I like that story because it's funny, but it also is a reminder that no matter how small you are, you can be super powerful and influential and, uh, and uh, do anything you need to do to feel big and strong and in control. Okay, so um, we did the little beehives. Um, uh, finger poem, so we're just going to do it again, and um, I think my older friend's going to do it in their lesson, so maybe it'll be new for them. All right, so we're going to take our thumb and put it inside our hand, and we're going to say, here is a beehive. Where are the bees? Hidden inside where nobody sees. Here they come, creeping out of their hive. One, two, three, four... And there we go. So you could make some popsicle finger bee puppets, um, or you could make a hive and do it that way, whatever you want. So I hope my friends are good, and um, we didn't really talk about any um, breathing work this week or um, meditation, but of course you always have your big rainbow breath in and out. And you can do that seven times, and you'll have your butterfly breaths, which we'll um, talk about again next week as we look at butterflies. So I hope you all have a good rest of your week and a nice afternoon or day or morning or night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, my friends.